It was a perfect day. I love you, Mommy. It was a perfect plan. This is our target, the nuclear power plant. If we capture the plane at precisely the right moment, they will not have time to shoot down the aircraft. For a perfect attack. If they hit that power plant with that aircraft, the casualties could be in the hundreds of thousands. God help us all. Everything was perfect. Except... What? What is this CPT? That means the plane is gonna get here when it gets here. They picked the wrong airline. And don't come up here complaining and shit. You motherfuckers wanna come on here and act a goddamn fool? I'm about to go on break. You motherfucking terrorists kill me, oh. Soul Plane 2. The Blackjacking. Come see why black incompetence. Hey, woo, woo. God damn, that was flat as a motherfucker. Is our funniest weapon in the war on terror. We can't let you through, homie. Hey, this Osama bin Laden nephew, nigga. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm once removed. I, I, know that. I just fucking with you, dog. Go ahead, nigga. Starring Gary Anthony Williams. Ooh, but you know what they say. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. John Witherspoon. What if it's the motherfucker sitting next to me time to go? Huh? Monique. It's very important this plane live on time. Damn, now are you yelling at me or shitting at me? Snoop Dogg. Hi, Jack. Them niggas ain't get my whizzy. For Rizzy or for shizzle, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? And 50 Cent as Air Marshal 50 Cent. I stepped those tears. Or that track. Soul Plane 2. The Blackjacking. Get ready. This time, it's going down. This is a hijacking. Remain in your seats. We have a bomb on the aircraft. Everyone remain. <laughs> I'm about to go get dressed. So plain, so plain. We gonna fly on the so plain. Riley, hurry up. So plain, so plain, so plain. We gonna fly on the so plain. And make sure you pee before we leave. I ain't gonna miss my movie going to the bathroom with you. I'm gonna let you go in there by yourself and get molested by a nasty white man. What's wrong with you? I don't wanna go to the movie. Why not? I don't ever wanna go to the movies with you again. Not after what happened last time. What happened last time? We got arrested and shot at. Ah, racism. Daddy said I can go to the movies, but he said I'm not allowed to see Soul Plane. Good. You don't wanna go to the movies with him. He's crazy. Hush. Can't see Soul Plane? Why, little baby? Because of the types of stereos or something. Types of stereos? Oh, no, 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 little baby. Dob, this is a good theater. They have THX. She means stereotypes. Stereotypes? In Soul Plane? That's nonsense. Say, how about we tell your daddy we saw something else? <gasps> you mean, why? That really doesn't seem to be a good idea. Hush, boy. You know... It's okay to break the rules every once in a while. I won't tell if you won't. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I think Granddad may be a bad influence. Hey, Riley, don't forget the camcorder. Now, the first Soul Plane was funny. About as funny as a lynching. Oh, hush, boy, you ain't even see it. I've never seen a lynching either, but I know they're not funny. See, shows what you know. I've seen funny lynchings. No, you haven't. I have, so. Roscoe Patterson's lynching was funny. Yeah, so them niggas was like, Roscoe, you better leave time for Mr. Charlie and them crackers gonna fall for you. I'm like, man, fuck these crackers, man. It's Roscoe Patterson. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? White man can eat a dick. Eat my balls, nigga. There he is. Get that nigga. Oh. Hey, I, I got Come on, let's there go. Oh, Jesus, Watch I'm out. Enough. It uh, wasn't really funny after that. Mm -mm. This is gonna be so much fun. This is going to be the worst day of your life. I'm bringing nunchucks. Huh? Here, put these coats on. Huh? Here you go. What is it? It's pinto beans and neck bones. Now put this meatloaf and gravy under your shirt. 
Why don't we just get treats from the concession stand? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm paying twenty dollars for some popcorn? You must be out of your damn mind. Are we allowed to bring in food? Of course we're allowed to. It's my food, isn't it? I paid for it. That means I can eat it when and where I want. Boy, put this pot roast in your pants or you ain't eating. Oh, this is nothing. He's just getting started. Robert Jebediah Freeman had sworn a lifetime intifada against the movie theater industry for exorbitant prices and poor customer service, which, interestingly enough, did not stop him from going to see movies. Okay, gang, keep your eyes open. Open for what? We're sneaking in. <gasps> That's not true, little baby. I bought my tickets online. Scout's honor. Look, granddad, I got some money saved. The movie will be on me. Now you put that away, boy. These movie devils ain't getting any more of our money. Mm -mm. Uh, Mr. Freeman? It says no outside food, little girl. That's why we keep it inside our clothes. Are you sure this is legal? Okay, everybody look alive now. Here's our chance. I understand you need your job, but you're still a human being with dignity. Yeah, I mean, look at this uniform, man. I look like a fucking dork. Why would they make me dress like this? What did I do to them, huh? You should take action. Eh, what can I do? Have you ever thought about forming a union? What's a union? Hey, 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 I'm paid. I got my ticket. Yeah, yeah, I got a ticket for you. One-way ticket to get the hell out of here, Negro land. Go on, move it. Ooh, nigga, you gay. How about that? Another victory of the common man over corporate greed. You're not advancing any struggle by being cheap, granddad. I'll advance my belt on your behind if you don't shut your ass. Oh my god, we didn't pay to get in the movie. Yes, we did. I, I ordered my tickets online. Who got the neck bone? No, you didn't. We snuck in. We saw a movie. Now, who makes the rules? Grown-ups, right? And I'm grown up, and I say it's okay. We're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught. I should call my daddy and turn myself in. Oh, yeah? You gonna tell him what you came to see? Huh? I bet he'd like to know that. Maybe I should make a phone call. No, please, no. Good. Now just calm down. Try some mashed potatoes. Who got the popcorn? I do, Granddad. <laughs> Ow! Hey! What the hell is wrong with you? What am I gonna do with raw popcorn? You're gonna ruin my dentures. Who? Damn, can't watch a movie without popcorn. Now I gotta spend all my damn money on a bucket of popcorn. Told you. Stealing movies is a felony. It's just like Robin the elderly. Oh, honey. Ah! Or murder. Ah! Don't steal movies. <laughs> Large freshly popped popcorn, please, and lots of butter. Anything else? I asked for butter on it. Butter's over there. I don't want to put the butter on it. Why can't you do it? You're supposed to put the butter on it. I don't want to put the butter on it. I'm already paying $20 for this bullshit popcorn. I will not demean myself by putting butter on popcorn. Why? It's really easy. Why? Because I don't work at the movie theater. That's why. You're supposed to put the butter on it. If I go to Burger King, and order a cheeseburger. They don't make me put the cheese on it, do they? God damn it! I see, I see. Just cause your skin is light, bright, and two shades from being white. You think you too good to butter your own popcorn. Well, you wrong, Lando Calarizian. Damn it, Ruckus. Y'all gonna put some butter on this popcorn. We put our lives on the line every day to make movies. And then people come along and steal all that hard work. Who would do something like that? A terrible, awful human being that no one will ever love. That's who. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Salt Man. Boo! Hey, get to the flip. What happened to the movies? Y'all should be ashamed. Why is it when I order a soda pop, I get an empty cup? I didn't order an empty cup. I ordered a soda pop. 
And what asshole started putting commercials in movies? I can see commercials at home on TV. And the bad films stink. Turn the fucking bad film. I'm not gonna take it anymore. I paid too much damn money for these movie tickets to buy my own motherfucking popcorn. It's only popcorn. Ah! When did you get here? Huh? Well, I've been at the ticket window all day long, and I don't remember you buying no ticket, Robert Freeman. Uh, I got my tickets online. Uh-huh. A damn lie. I ain't never met a nigga smart enough to use a personal computer. Not even a Macintosh. Uh... You never take me alive, you punk asses! Stop it! Come on, come on! He went this way! Phew. So do you Did I miss anything? Mr. Freeman, I don't want to steal the movie. I want to go home. Shh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I want to go home. You wasn't saying that back in the house, was you? Was you? Because we wanted to see Soul Pain 2. Well, this is how we see Soul Pain 2. I repeat, the terrorist said his name is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and he's demanding that we... Hell no, nah, nigga, I ain't finna ask him for his motherfucking autograph. An hour into the movie, I wasn't sure how much more I could take. Food, uh, but we got hey. one bag of tater chips. Yo, so look out. He's in here. I know Robert. He don't mess with coon flick. What is it? What's happening? Shh. Don't make a sound. <laughs> Damn. Let's go check Medea's bat mitzvah. If you left the toilet seat up in the restroom... Officer! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to steal from the stuntman! What were you about to do? You were about to ride on us, weren't you? This is what the movie theater industry wants, Jasmine! Us fighting against each other! Oh, no! There's no turning back now! You're in it all the way! Now, you're gonna get your little narrow, high yellow ass back into the theater and enjoy Soul Plane too. I wanna go home! Shut up. You're ruining my innocence! Shut up! I expected to be able to fly in first class. Go home. Go home. Go first class. Go home. Go home. Go home. Granddad, what's wrong with Jasmine? <laughs> She's fine. Watch the movie. <laughs> Granddad had to be stopped. I'm gonna put an end to this. But that train. And so did this movie. Fortunately, I thought of a way to do both. Move, nigga. Where you going? They're looking for us. Here we come back. <laughs> This is crazy. Color folks or something. My plan was to get to the projector room and destroy the print of Soul Plane. First, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Jasmine, you're missing all the best parts. I'm not watching a stolen movie. Oh, well, if you don't want to laugh. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Hilarity just ensued. That's all. It did? Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's about impossible to find this black ass in this dark theater. <laughs> Yo, I think we need to shake the spizz out. Huh? What? Get Jasmine, let's go. But we couldn't. She the weakling. She'll slow us down. I mean, how could we? Look, she a little girl. They not gonna give her no real time. She do what, a couple months tops? But we both got priors. We got to go. Come on, Granddad, we running out of time. Sometimes, in order to save the day, people had to set face themselves, you understand? Know <laughs> oh, Air Marshal 50 Cent. <laughs> You're so brave to sacrifice yourself to save us. <laughs> Let me bit you. Ow, wait. Oh, oh. Ow, hold this. We be right back. Okay. 
Exactly. See, what Marx is saying is that the oppression of the proletariat is an essential facet of the exploitation inherent in the system. So, therefore, due to the class... A little half and half? Ah! But I will kill you. Or I'm, I'm a, uh, or, or I'm a dead train. What? What? You thought you was the only one who mastered the ancient and deadly art of the Nunchaku? I wish we could have seen the end of that movie. I don't know. I feel bad for leaving Huey and what's her name? They knew the risk, so they might do a little time. We see them when they get out. Uh, it doesn't seem right. I'm going back and turning myself in. Turn yourself. Me, granddad, look, come on. I mean, I love Huey. Almost like a brother, but what's done is done. We got to let go of the past. If he don't come back, can I have his side of the room? Oh, come on, granddad. You supposed to be setting a better example. You just wait till the manager gets here. He gonna throw the book at both of y'all. This is the worst day of my entire life. Told you. Here's the guardian for the kids. That's right, Ruckus. We snuck into the movie, too. We? You said you was gonna turn yourself in. Please, let the kids go. I'll take responsibility. <laughs> Look like y'all all going down. Manager's not coming. Cinema's closed. Indefinitely. Looks like everyone walked out. Something about a union. What? The manager ain't coming. But call the police, the FBI, Homeland Security. You mean we gonna let this African hooliganism go unpunished? You have problems, Mr. Freeman, and you need help. Thanks for coming back. Eventually. Yo, you need to stop snitching, Granddad. Hey, won't you call social services and turn yourself in for child abuse? Ow! Hey, man. You guys unionized and staged a walkout that quickly? That's amazing. Oh, yeah, we unionized. Then someone called the corporate headquarters, and they shut down the whole place, fired everybody. Oh. Well, um... Power to the people. Fuck you. Well, that's that. I think we all learned a valuable lesson today about stealing movies. Buy the bootleg. Or just download it from the internet like everybody else. Hey, can you guys wait here a sec? There's something I need to take care of. 